only 25 centimetres tall, the blue penguin is the world's smallest penguin. Yet for such a little creature, they are a huge attraction here in Oamaru. Thousands of people visit them every year, and they even have their own scientist. I'm going to meet some of these little locals and see what all the fuss is about. do is weigh the adult, which is the female here today, and weigh the chicks as well. I normally weigh them from when they're one week old, um, every three or four days until they hatch. Okay. And how many chicks do they have at a time? Generally they'll have two at once. And are you monitoring the success of the nests here? Every week we go around every box here and um, check what's inside, so recording um, the band number of the bird inside, plus whether it's on eggs or chicks. So we've got a really nice um, data set of everything that's, that's gone on here, breeding and survival-wise, since the 90s. So. And how many birds are here at the colony? Population will be about five or 600 birds. So considering they started with only 33 in the early 90s, it's a really good, healthy population. Don't talk to me like I'm on Thousand and twenty grams. So that's that's about normal. So we'll pop her back in. And can you tell me a bit about the research that you're doing here? Part of the research is looking at the population trends and how things have changed over time and also what might affect that. So the main part of my field work is looking at um, their foraging behaviour. So I'm attaching little miniature GPS units to some of them and miniature depth recorders to some others to see what happens out at sea and where they go and, and looking at all their diving behaviour as well. And trying to relate that to what's happening on land in terms of their breeding success. So what have you found so far? Looking at the distance that they're going is about what we expected. Maximum distance that they head out is about 25 kilometres. Um, but generally they stay within a radius of about 15. And what I'm hoping is that over the next two or three seasons, the breeding might be a bit different, so I can see what happens when maybe the season isn't so good compared to a good season. So looking at changes, and also looking at changes out in the ocean um, in terms of sea surface temperatures and, and how that might affect things as well. And so how long do the parents have to come back and feed their chicks for? For the first two or three weeks of the chick's life, there'll be a parent stay here. So one will go to sea and come home at night and feed the chicks and then the other goes. So they're taking turns every day. And then after the chicks get to that two or three week age, both the parents will head out to sea and feed for the chicks and, and come in each day bringing food in. The chicks will head to sea themselves when they're about seven, eight, weeks of age. Generally they'll start breeding when they're two to three years old. And on average they'll live about seven, eight years with a maximum lifespan of about 25. These pint-sized penguins need a lot of protection if they are to survive in such close proximity to humans. So if you're lucky enough to be down this way, why not drop in and check them out? Don't talk to me. 